Hello guys, it's Shit Game Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel once again and this time we have another overclocking tutorial and it is not about CPU, GPU, RAM or even your Rolex. We're not overclocking that, your Rolex. We could do it but it's it's very difficult. This time we are we're This time we're overclocking monitors. Yeah. So, is it possible to overclock monitors? Yes, you can overclock indeed your monitor and let me just say that if you have a FreeSync monitor running at 60 Hz, you most likely will be able to overclock it to 75 Hz. And with most likely, I'm saying like 99% uh, of times you are able to overclock your FreeSync monitor from 60 Hz to 75 Hz. Okay. Uh, to overclock, to overclock your monitor and to overclock my monitor, I actually use, um, I actually use a software called Custom Resolution Utility. Search for it on the on Google. Open it, Custom Resolution Utility, the first one and download the zip file. Download the zip file if you can become a patron because that really helps the, um, the developer. Okay, save. We're gonna save on our desktop. Okay, now open the custom resolution utility, the zip file. Yes, the zip file. And extract to desktop, okay. Done. After that, just open the the folder. I mean, I was I was going to to, to say this in in Portuguese, which is uh, abra pasta, so pasta instead of or paste instead of <laughs> a folder, whatever. Open, click on the right button of your mouse, run as administrator. And now you have this custom resolution utility, you have here your monitor, you have here the resolution. So, you can also add custom resolutions, but the first step is to actually go here, if you have a FreeSync or G-Sync monitor. Uh, so, if you have a FreeSync monitor, the first step is to actually go here, edit, and you have here, V-Rate 90. 3075 age rate 1990. So here is actually uh, where you choose your free sync range, your range limits. For example, my monitor is actually 3560, but it has free sync, so I was able to overclock it to 3075. So um, three uh, five hertz less in the minimum, so in 30 instead of 35, and 75 50 more hertz instead of 60. So the range will actually be 30, 75 instead of 35, 60. So the usual will be something like this, 35, 60, and you just go there, 30, 70, in this case 75. And I'm pretty sure that I could go further like 80 hertz or 82, but I don't really need it, so 75 hertz it is press ok and you are good to go in case you want custom resolutions for example my monitor because i test a lot of things so my monitor is 34 40 per 1440 so it is 21 ultra wide but imagine you want to test at 4k like i do so yes it is here 4k resolution to do that you just need to go on head Select the resolution you want, in this case 4K, 3840, sorry, per 2160, and select 60 Hz. It may not be, you, your monitor may not be able to run 4K, so at least at 60 Hz, so you may want to reduce it to, let's say, 30 Hz, just to test, okay? So, yeah. But there's not much more to say, actually. It is this simple. After this, you just click... You just click OK, you have the resolutions and you click OK. Then you reboot your PC and you'll have your, your resolutions available. Now, how you know actually that your resolution uh, 
is sticking yes because like any overclocking you may have instability and in this case it is called frame skipping it is not called monitor instability overclocking instability it is called frame skipping so what happens is if your monitor isn't actually ready for the overclock it will do uh, a frame skipping it will skip frames so even if you're running 75 hertz it will feel like choppy and it won't feel smooth at all to actually test that you can go monitor for example monitor frame rate test and you go to the ufo test go on it and you can see it okay as you can see frame rate 75 hertz refresh rate 75 hertz pixels blah 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 this is just one of the tests of course but i can select for example six so here on the top you could actually see but th there are more there are more tests so in this case if your monitor was was actually frame skipping you wouldn't see this smooth you would see like um it was it was missing parts there were missing parts of this okay you have another test like tiles frames skipping test something like this yes this one the blur busters this one in my opinion is the best one you can get uh to actually test your your frame skipping if your monitor is actually stable with his earths or not so as you can see here all the um, the squares being filled okay so in 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 case your uh, your monitor wasn't actually uh, ready for the for the frequency for the yurts you are you are trying to overclock to there would be missing spots so in every rectangle you have the white uh, the white rectangle passing by and if it wasn't stable if you were if your monitor was doing the frame skip there would be empty rectangles so imagine the um, the white the white rectangle will be passing by but it would fail this one this one this one just an example so you would be able to notice it really so test this test this before you actually overclock your monitor and test it after you will be able to tell the difference completely so but now there is a thing so uh in some cases even if you aren't able to overclock, because I have two monitors that aren't able to overclock, not a single hertz. If I pass from 60 to 61, believe me, uh, it will start frame skipping, so not even one hertz available. But there is a catch. For example, if I play CSGO and I want to play a lower resolution, I can actually overclock a bit. So, for example, I'm using a 1440p monitor, my Dell U2515H, yes, uh, but if I want to, I can't really overclock it even one hertz, but if I want to, for example, reduce the resolution to 1080p, I can actually run it at 75 hertz. So, it is kind okay-ish for CSGO because I can, actually re I can actually reduce the resolution and play at 75 hertz, which may be fine for some of you, not for others but may be fine for some of you so you can actually in most monitors if you can't overclock the monitor at the, the native resolution you can actually reduce the resolution and try to overclock after that okay and i'm st I'm, I'm still doing this so yeah basically this is it it is that simple so you have the tests to do if it is frame skipping or not if it is not frame skipping you are fine if it is, well, you can try to, to lower the resolution and overclock that way. So you can actually play CSGO at 75 Hz, for example. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section. And believe me, I have a lot, a lot of tests incoming. So we'll have, for example, um, the, the i5 10600 k tested at stock and 5 gigahertz we're gonna have also the the 10 400 f tested by another i5 we're gonna have the 2600 tested again so the next week this and the next week will be tough for me 
lots of tests but it will be worth it for you for me and for you guys because you'll have way more tests also thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one